Hi guys, welcome to another mass tutorial brought to you by Direct Tutoring. Today we're going to have a look at completing the square. So if we take a quick overview, completing the square is a convenient way to determine the turning point, or also known as the stationary point, of a quadratic graph. The process can only work with quadratic equations and must be carried out in a systematic way. So this doesn't apply to straight lines or polynomials. And the questions are usually very easy to spot and can sometimes be part of a bigger quadratic question. So the form of completing the square will look like this. So when you see express in this form, you must think completing the square. And the values of a, b and c are rational values. So if we take a look at question number one, it says express x squared plus 6x plus 5 in the form of x plus p squared plus q. Now, when you see this, you must think that it is completing the square. So the, the way that you will solve this is a strict systematic approach. If you stay neat and you follow the same steps, you will get it right every single time. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to ignore the 5. So when we rewrite this, we'll just pretend that the 5 doesn't exist. And we're left with x squared plus 6x. So then we're going to remove an x from each of the terms. And we'll pop it into a bracket. So we get x plus 6. And then we have to half the 6 and then we square the bracket. So we end up with this arrangement here. And we've now found the value of p, because this bit here is exactly the same as this bit here. So now it's a case of finding the value of q. So the new bracket that we have created, we now need to multiply that out, and we'll do that using FOIL. So we have x squared plus 3x plus 3x plus 9, and then we tidy that up, x squared plus 6x plus 9. Now, a way to check that you have done this correct is if your first two terms of your answer to this matches up with the original two values of the equation you were given at the start, it means you must have done it correctly. And then finally, the value of q can then be found by taking the original value and minus it from the new value. Now we haven't used the 5 yet, so this is where the 5 comes into play. The 5 is the original value, and the 9 that we created is the new value. So it's literally a case of 5 take away 9, so q is minus 4. Now it says your final answer express in that form, so we have to take this and make it equal to this. And the way that we do that is we just write this equation and then we sub in the value of 3 and the value of minus 4 in here. And that's how you would go about completing the square. Now, question 2 is it's pretty much exactly the same. However, there is one extra step because we didn't have a constant out here in the previous question. So it adds in a, an extra step um, when we go to solve this. So same as before, we will ignore the 5 and we'll just write 2x squared plus 8x. But this is the extra step. We have to take out a common factor first because the bracket in here cannot have a value attached to the x directly. It must be x and then a number. So that's why we have to take out the value of 2. And this gives us what we had in the previous question. So we divide by x, so we remove an x from each of the terms, and we pop in a bracket, and then we half this value, and we square the bracket. So we've now found the values of a and b, because the values of a is 2, and the value of b is 2. So the process to find c is we multiply at the bracket again that we made, using FOIL, and we haven't considered 2 yet, so once we neaten this up and we get x squared plus 4x plus 4, we then have to multiply this bracket by 2 and scale it up. Now, we can do the check, 
If these two terms are the same as these two terms, we know we must have done it correctly, which we have. So the final step is to do what we've done where we take the original value and take it away from the new value. So the original value was 5, and this time the value for the new one is 8. So Q is 5 minus 8, which will give us minus 3. And then if we express that in the form, we get 2x squared plus 8x plus 5 is equal to 2 bracket x plus 2 squared minus 3. And that's how you go about completing the square. And there will be, I'll put a link in the description on how to read the turning point um, from completing the square. Because the turning point can now easily be found um, for drawing quadratics. Thanks for watching. Please don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel. Leave any comments in the comment section below. And we'll see you in the next video.